Well, greetings. Uh, my name's Chris Ramsbottom. Uh, I'm one of the pastors at St. Stephen's Church in Claremont, Cape Town. I'm also a friend of Gareth and Sharon, and so knew Morris and Eleanor for many years. It was with great sadness that I learnt of their deaths. Well, I've been asked to pray for us today, but first let me share a memory uh, about each of them. Well, for Morris, it had to be the day we were having a braai at their house in Cromboom Road. Uh, we were young and naughty, and so while Morris was tending the braai, well, Gareth and I made our way upstairs and poured a jug of water out the window down onto Morris below. Well, Morris had a great sense of humour and took it all in his stride. But I think he always remembered me as that cheeky fellow. Well, Eleanor uh, was such a sweetheart, always ready to help out. Well, just before she moved out of their old house, uh, she gave us some clivias which we planted in our garden. And they'll always be known as Eleanor's clivias. Well, I'm sure you have your own special memories of this couple, who brought us such joy, uh, which is why our hearts ache so much now at their passing. Well, death is terrible. It robs us of our loved ones, which is why we need a God who has power over death and who can show us the way out of death. Well, that's exactly what the Bible reveals. A God who's taken action, a God who's made promises to us about death and about life. And they are very great and precious promises. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. And the Apostle Paul wrote, I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Well, let's pray. Heavenly Father, you are merciful, loving and compassionate. We pray for those who are hurting today. We pray for those who grieve and mourn the loss of a loved one. Comfort them, be to them a refuge, grant them strength and courage in their grief as you remind them of your promises. Father, we pray also for ourselves today and we ask that you would open our eyes to your promises and to the day when we will meet you. Give us hearts that seek after you. Give us faith that we might believe your promises and trust in your unfailing love. Give us hearts that grieve over our rejection of you and give us a deep understanding of your immense love for us, shown in the death of your Son on the cross. We pray that we may treasure Christ, the one who has conquered death and has risen again, and in so doing has opened the gates of everlasting life to those who embrace him. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.